Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a little bit something different this time around. So for this week, I'm going to do a PC build. I'm doing this for a client who isn't really into gaming. They're mostly focused on video editing and uh, stocks. They wanted to go with something a little bit more on the budget side. Nothing too high end. They just wanted to focus mainly on uh, being able to get stuff done. Uh, not too much in a hurry because it's not really a business business, but it is part of their work. So um, I picked out some of these parts mostly for budget. The thing he mostly focused on was storage. Everything else is just uh, either parts I had on the shelf here in stock or just things that I would think would benefit his budget. So to uh, list off some of the parts in no particular order, I got him for the case, I got him a Lee & Lee High Airflow Micro ATX case. For the motherboard, I got him an ASUS Tough A520M Plus Wi-Fi. The CPU, I got him an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. The GPU was the MSI GeForce RTX 3050 Gaming X. 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory for the ram 16 gigs of corsair dominators their each stick is four gigs of memory they're at 3200 megahertz clock speed the power supply is a power spec 650 bsm rgb 80 plus bronze certified and if he's watching this video for the most important part that he cares about which is the storage which I went ahead and I got him a one terabyte P3 crucial NVMe SSD along with two Team Group T Force Vulcan Z2 terabyte SSDs. For cooling, I went with the ID Cooling Frostflow 240 AIO. I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and removed the stock fans that came with the AIO and installed a five pack of Antec RGB fans. And to top it all off, I went ahead and just went with the Windows 10 Pro just for easy access and it's something that the client was already used to. After gathering all the parts, it was pretty simple making this build. Uh, I didn't really run into any troubles on this one actually. I normally run into issues with either the AIO or something with the case where it makes it a little bit difficult to manage cables or to wire certain cables around certain grommets or just having to find certain tie points but the Lee and Lee case actually made it very simple to, to find everything and just to tie everything down. The AIO itself was pretty simple too. The only thing I noticed this one was a little bit different from most other ones that I'm used to is this one didn't actually come with its own thermal paste pre-applied. I had to go ahead and apply it but the cool thing with this one is that they actually did include the thermal paste with their AIO. So I thought that was pretty cool. I also did want to mention that looking at this and editing that there were two videos in particular that seem to have gotten corrupted or just do not want to read and that was me unboxing the case and taking off both the glass panel and the side panel but um I have most of what you guys need if you guys are using this for any sort of tutorial or guide to build your own PC. The other thing I also wanted to bring up is that I didn't know myself uh, plugging in the 24 power pin or the CPU power pin along with the little uh, pins that you need from the case to the motherboard. Um, it wasn't so much that I forgot, it was just I there was no possible way as you can tell sometimes my camera gets out of focus and there was just no real way that I could do it by myself with no real Equipment. This is my first time doing anything like this, so I couldn't really get a good angle to film myself in this case putting in those uh, plugins or little cables to the little pins that go on the motherboard. So I didn't think I sh should include it in here. That might be a mistake in hindsight, but other than that, I think all the important details are there. Also, I didn't film myself installing the fan just because I didn't think that was really all that necessary. Uh, especially because uh, this case in particular already had some uh, case fans on it. I just took them out just to match the rest of the setup with these five Antec fans. But I would like to note that I usually try to have about the same number of fans pulling air in as there are fans pushing air out. Sometimes in scenarios like this, uh, you have three fans pushing air out and only two fans pushing air in. Um, and it would all depend on a, literally a case by case situation. And I know I'm going to get comments or questions from people asking why I went with this specific uh, build with these exact parts. And again, uh, most of it came down to his budget, what he wanted. And of course, um, it's not a gaming uh, PC. I know a lot of people are going to comment on that coming from a gaming standpoint. But again, it's not meant for gaming. It's meant for stocks with some video editing here and there. But most of the 
PC is going to be used is for storage, which is why the client decided with five terabytes of storage. So all in all, if they need any upgrades or anything else later on the line, they can do so. And until then, enjoy the B-roll guys. Have fun.